Hello, and welcome to this week's video blog from the Center for Human Awakening. My name is Rob Meager. I'm co-founder of the Center. Our video blog this week will be a reading from Richard Harvey's book, Your Essential Self. And this passage is titled, Learning from Everything. As we deepen in awareness and acceptance, something extraordinary happens. Our inner acceptance reflects into the outer world and leads to a deepening surrender to how things are. We begin to learn profound lessons from life when things go well or when things go badly. Happy or sad, well or sick, succeeding or failing, we find our experience contains a nugget of illumination. Everything helps us to learn, but not all of us choose the way of awareness. Inner work is not for everyone. The Tao Te Ching tells us that a third of us are life seekers, a third of us are death seekers, and the other third of us are sleeping and content to remain asleep. This Taoist insight provides a sobering perspective and provides a basis for our tolerance, acceptance, and understanding of others just as they are. Life seekers are people who choose life and follow where it leads. They are the adventurers, the ones for whom a closed door simply waits to be opened. Since you may be reading this book, it's likely that you are a life seeker, whether this is your first step in personal growth, or you are a long way up the mountain. You have felt at some time in your life that behind the appearances, there must be more to life. Life seekers do not gloss over experience because they know intuitively that there is a deeper truth. Life seekers recognize life experience as opportunities for growth. And by embracing these opportunities, they accept and revere life. Each experience is a gift that invites our open relationship to what is real and deepens our understanding. Whatever happens to us, whether fortunate or unfortunate, we can learn and grow accepting the lesson with gratitude and grace. Death seekers are people who choose death, not necessarily literal death, but self-destruction, negativity, and nihilism, life negating thoughts and activities. They are the destroyers of themselves and others, of feeling and experience. Death seekers negate life's lessons and the search for deeper understanding. They moan and complain about life or appear superficially positive. They may say that everything is fine, whether it is or not, and in doing so they kill the opportunity to feel, experience, and learn. Some people are sleepers, ignorant, and unaware of life's myriad depths and meanings. They are satisfied because they know nothing else and they are not affected by or open to deepening experiences or insights. We all know the sleepers. They are content with a very low level of awareness and consciousness, satisfied with superficial pleasures they do not search or strive. Their needs are simple revolving exclusively around lower energy concerns like food, shelter, and material possessions. Death seekers may be more difficult to distinguish. They are not necessarily Satanists or devil worshippers. Sometimes their negative behavior is concealed beneath a positive exterior. Those people, often personable, smiling, and talkative, who drain us and leave us feeling unexpectedly tired, angry, or critical may well be death seekers. 
And we need to trust our feelings about negative people and death-seeking behavior. Trusting our energy may be the only way to distinguish who they are. Life seekers are bright, positive presence in our life. We learn and feel invigorated whenever we are with them. We know them intuitively and identify their bright, life-affirming, enriching presence in our life. One old Japanese story tells a tale of love and equanimity and affirms the spirit of the life seeker. Zen master Hakuin lived in a little hermitage on a hill outside a village. He was renowned for his moral purity. A girl from the village became pregnant. She was reluctant to name the father of her child, but after much persuasion, she admitted that it was Hakuin. After the child was born, the girl's parents, accompanied by a great procession of local dignitaries, carried the child up the hill to Hakuin's hermitage. They knocked loudly on the wooden gate, and Hakuin's face appeared at a little hatch, declaring that the child was now the monk's responsibility the girl's parents passed the baby through. Hakuin simply bowed and said, Ah, so. Hakuin took care and took good care of the child, having milk, clothes, and everything that was needed brought up from the village. Some years later, while still young, the mother of the child became fatally ill. On her deathbed, she confessed that the real father was a young man who worked at the fish market. Once again, the procession of dignitaries and the girl's parents climbed the hill to the monk's little hermitage. They explained the situation at length with plentiful apologies and appeals for forgiveness. Hakuim simply bowed, said, Ah, so, and passed the child through the wooden hatch. This story symbolically illustrates the open attitude of the life seeker. Through changing perceptions and shifting circumstances, we, like Hakuin, can remain constant and adapt to what life offers us. Regardless of whether we are giving or receiving, we can remain responsive and open. The movements through the wooden hatch are like a pulsating heart, opening and closing, expanding and contracting, reflecting the natural rhythm of changing life. Hakuin epitomizes the life seeker. He shows us that we can learn from whatever comes our way. A friend wrote to me recently with the sad news that a dear friend of hers had died tragically in a plane crash. In the depths of her grief, she perfectly expressed the choice of the life seeker with these words, quote, I am learning in the experience of being in the depth of faith or the depth of despair, end quote. Learning from faith or despair, practicing the ah, so, of acceptance, and seeking life are positive responses to opportunities for growth. We learn from whatever life offers. When we learn from everything openly and willingly, we discover precious opportunities for understanding through grace and stepping stones to enlightened action.